irritating when people do that. Mildly. But anyway, moving swiftly on. <laughs> Slovakian-born artist Sylvia Kripinska moved to the UK when she was just 18. She now works as a painter and sculptor, having studied at the Chelsea School of Art and the Institute in Hampstead. She now joins us in the studio. Good morning. Good morning. How are Hello. you? Fine, thank you. Talking of accents, I hope my Slovakian accent won't be too much for your listeners. <laughs> oh no, your accent is cool. We'll be, I think our listeners will be able to get <laughs> it. Hardly no? any Slovakian in there. Seriously. <laughs> I thought you were from South London, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're crazy. Um, I should also mention that Sylvia has brought us in some Slovakian marble cake. Is that correct? Yes. <laughs> Thanks. I, if Pleasure. The way to my heart is through food, mm -hmm. specifically cake, custard, steak, chips, pies, anything like that is good. So, yeah, I'm, mm. I'm, we're happy. It's just Thank you. Yeah, Pleasure. Because Di can't have any, can you, Di? I'm trying to just stop the wheat. Wheat is just like my weakness and my downfall. So right. I'm, I'm trying to minimise my intake, intake of it even, which sounds really silly. But okay. um, yeah. That's no, just it's doing. fine. I use rice flour sometimes. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, see? So you can relate <laughs> now, Sylvia. <laughs> Sylvia, okay. okay. Yeah. Does that work? Can you use rice? Sorry, randomly mm. going off top. If you're like a cake, could mm. you use rice flour in a cake instead? Yeah. yeah. Or spelt. Could you taste the difference? Yes. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's not as yummy, really, is no, it? No, it's not. not as cakey. You have to put enough of butter in it instead. Yeah, uh, I see. <laughs> okay. Uh, to balance out. <laughs> um, the first question that I wanted to ask you, Sylvia, now we're talking, moving back to your work slightly, is how would you actually describe the work that you produce? Uh, I call myself contemporary, well, organic contemporary sculptor. Okay. Which uh, might sound quite confusing for some listeners, but... Uh, because I produce work that is in touch with nature, I get inspired by nature and it's all about shape and sort of organicity and I just made up that word by the way. That's a great <laughs> word. I was thinking I like that one, filing it away. That's organicity. <laughs> Wicked. <laughs> if enough people use it, it'll actually become a yeah. word. Yeah. Yeah. But no, carry on, carry on. We're interrupting. Um, <laughs> a series from uh, the bottom of the sea was a series my late well actually one before last series that i was using uh, plaster and i did a photo shoot on margate beach and it's all about nature and organic lifestyle and uh, uh, everything surrounding it so what is it about nature and the organic lifestyle that makes you want to use it in your work would you say uh i think there is nothing else i can imagine that I could do it's part of me that's why yeah, I am okay. I I'm not saying I eat organic food every day I'm I'm, I'm talking about the shapes and 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 nature as it is as mm -hmm. as, as it was given to us organic right. as as virgin basically mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. okay and you also use food a lot in your work as well correct I think I saw something on YouTube when you were using grapes yes yes I do uh, while I'm sculpting I eat food as well but <laughs> 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 uh, because I'm process based artist I, I use food for to, to produce my sculptures mm -hmm. I cast grapes in plaster for instance okay. a plaster ball and then I dig it out to uh, achieve this tunneling effect and uh, the effect where the light can come through the when you lift it up to the you know to the sky and mm -hmm. it's uh, yeah it's just inspirational I'm just experimenting that's what I do mm -hmm. <laughs> have you used other food in your work as well or is it just the grape so far I've done yes uh, well I started with plaster symbols that's where it, where it all started and okay. then I thought mm, it's really difficult to get out from sculptures so I'll, I need something softer so mm -hmm. the grapes followed and then I tried tomatoes and mushrooms which, how, how did that work <laughs> <laughs> not great success I have to say okay. because I don't like to eat mushrooms and it was a bit smelly and I, uh, yeah so that one is still in pro progress <laughs> on the shelf in studio <laughs> and you're a painter as well as a sculptor which do you prefer painting or sculpting uh i can't separate the two i think it's uh, I'm, I'm a painterly sculptor and sculpturally painter okay <laughs> good description i like mm. that i'm thinking um also are you aware of um andy goldsworthy Yes, yes. Because he does those amazing sort of um, natural sculptures too, doesn't he? Where he takes like um, either ice or leaves and sort of pins them together in really intricate forms using thorns and things and then leaves them in situ, doesn't he? So d is there any particular artist that maybe inspires you apart from, of course, you know, natural forms around you? Is there anything else that inspires you? Uh, yes. Uh, what, what should I say? I haven't been actually prepared for this question. That's all right. <laughs> I, I just felt this question. I'll be honest, I didn't prepare it. Sorry, darling. <laughs> no. Um, 
No, I can't answer now. But uh, mm -hmm. what I can answer is uh, using you were mentioning using the nature to help to make art. Mm. I was thinking of uh, bringing my grape sculpture and put it in an ant's, ant's nest. So Great they idea. sort of eat out for me. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so again, I'll stay with the nature there. But I love yeah. that. And then you could do like time lapse photography, so you could see it as it starts to sort of degenerate, can't you? Yeah, that's love brilliant. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, so hold on. the ants would eat the grapes for you. Yes. Yeah. Oh, nice. But I would have to go in every day, and because I need to dig out the next layer of because the mm -hmm. grapes are actually separated with plaster. So oh. what I would have to do is just help them a little bit slightly to kind of make the the tunnels a little bit. But okay. uh, yeah, and the life of an artist is it really, really difficult, or can potentially anybody be like the next Tracy Emin? Because I know she's the kind of the main, the big artist that people know. Mm -hmm. Is it hard work being an artist? Would you say, or um, living as an artist? I should say. No, it's not for me because uh, I can't imagine anything else. So okay, um, hard, hard. It's just enjoyable. When you enjoy your work, you you love it, and whatever happens, you you stick with it. Okay. Uh, I can't. I can't say it's well. It's hard. Obviously, sometimes it's financially hard, or mm -hmm. or it keep your inspiration up. It's hard, but uh, uh, anything can be hard. You know, mm. any profession. That's a good point. And yeah. it's better, I guess you're doing a profession you love when it's difficult than something you don't really like. Because as you said, everything can be difficult at one point or another. Yes. No, yeah, I agree. Cool. And how do you go about like promoting yourself and your work? Yes, good question. <laughs> that takes a lot of my time, I have to say. Last two weeks I've been trying to be so really active on the internet, Twitter, Facebook, everything. Uh, I had a I had a really good interview come up in a, in a on in a SK magazine, mm -hmm. which uh, I'll I'll give you all the details of the website uh, <laughs> later. Yeah. So I was thrilled about that, and I, I I do talk to people. Conversations follow, you know, and then and then you suddenly oh I've got an offer um, for an exhibition in Bratislava, and you know so it's all about talking with people and here today and. Uh, I love promotion. <laughs> so that's a, an element of your work that you enjoy then? Because I know with sort of some artists are not that great at promoting themselves. They're kind of more focused on the work side of things. Promotion is also something that you would say you enjoy then? Yes, absolutely. It's, I mean, it, it's uh, something that helps me to show my work because mm -hmm. that when I produce a sculpture or painting, I'd like to share it with, the, with people. Okay. And, and one of the ways how to uh, make it happen is try to promote myself. Hopefully my Facebook friends are not bored with me already. <laughs> 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 so that's why I have two accounts, one for organic contemporary sculpture, that, that is my artistic account, mm -hmm. and one for mm -hmm. my friends, but I wouldn't blame them. It's okay. <laughs> and you've exhibited in quite a diverse place or diverse places because you're quite you've had exhibits all over the country right and all over the world even yes where are some of the places that your work's been exhibited uh the well the place where i'm most proud of was uh the biennale venice biennale in 2009 wow. uh, it was a part of the touring exhibition and uh I, it started in in linz in in austria and it was in Palazzo Albrizzi. I can't speak Italian, but hopefully <laughs> I said it right. That is all right. Yeah. <laughs> Found it good to me. Well, that was one of them. And another, I did a, quite different now, land art project uh, that I, I produced a sculpture in uh, outdoors. Uh, it was a huge, um, well, it was called The Seed and it was concrete sculpture. Mm -hmm. So that was, again, challenging. I had like 10 days to make it. So that was in Austria as well, in okay. little village, San Johann in der Heide. Right, great. <laughs> yeah. I'll go with that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And have you exhibited in London? I think you, did you have a show? Was it this year that you? Oh had yes, on? yes. We had the show. In fact, we talked about the show here on the radio with. Uh, 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 oh gosh, uh, was it Coffee and Sponge? Yeah, well, Coffee and Sponge. Hello, yeah. I'm sure they're listening. Mm. Back to the show. A one for one exhibition finished in the YouTube and the Star Space. We had that in April. Uh, that was a great success. We had thousands of visitors, and it was really, really good for us uh, very broad audience because there are lots of uh, it was literally next to the stadium on the new olympic stadium so okay. we we got lots of audience coming we we're very pleased and is there anything you're working on at the moment um at the moment i'm working on another series of tennis ball sculptures okay. um as i sometimes do <laughs> use recycling materials uh, um so uh I've, I've got, well, I'm in conversation with a gallery in Bratislava in, in Slovak Republic about okay. a show. So that's just 
really early days, so that's something I'm working on at the moment. But the, the, the series, the tennis ball series are coming for the Wimbledon. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good link. That's a really good idea. So you could perhaps get some sort of sponsorship perhaps from Wimbledon or maybe have a piece exhibited in Wimbledon if you're going to be using tennis balls. Yes, I've, link got, I've got three pieces. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> good. I've got some sculptures already ready made. Green, yellow and red moon uh, transition sculptures made from 215 tennis balls. Excellent. Okay, so That's superb. Check out you, my website. That's brilliant. And i just got a really quick question to ask, to ask you. Do you have... Um, do you, do you like the public interacting with your art? Because I'm a big art fan and I love going to like exhibitions. The, I think the last one I went to, oh gosh, I went to a brilliant one in the Metropolitan um, University on Baker mm. Street and it was Anthony McCall, I think. And it was just light. It was like light sculptures. But one of the most arresting ones I've ever been to was Anish Kapoor at the Royal oh, yes. Academy last yes. year. Did you see that one? I didn't see that one. I saw his... Uh, um Kensington Park, Park, Hyde Park. Uh, oh, I yeah. miss those. Yes, I miss those. Yes. But do you like the public interacting with your art in the way that, you know, those sorts of sculptures uh, and sculptors allow that interaction with their art? Uh, absolutely. If if the material allows, I'd, mm. I'd like people to even sort of, you know, touch it and feel the texture because that's why I do. I do a lot of tex texture work. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and uh, I had an idea of making sculptures for, for blind people as well so they mm. can kind of get the shapes and feel it in, in, the, in the mind. Um, and what was the beginning of the question? Well, that's pretty much it. I'm just really <laughs> curious about, um, you know, how, how you kind of feel because some artists are very precious about wanting people to kind of stay back from their work and just appreciate it on one particular level. But I just wondered, you know, if you were kind of keen on the public interacting with your work and sort of getting involved and, and touching it and poking it and prodding it. And yes, you are. I did a workshop, in fact, talking about that. Um, I did a workshop for kids and, uh, ah. uh, well, one of them was puppet show, but it's it different. But the one I did it was uh, like uh, talking about my art, and I brought work in progress, and I let them to actually dig out the scrapes. And, oh, really? And some of them find it quite disgusting. But, <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, so I I like to be the part of the exhibition if I could. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'd be there, always standing, having chat with the people. Mm -hmm. But it's not always possible. So yeah. <laughs> and where can people go to find out more information about your work? I've got uh, I've got three different sites. I've got my web official website, mm -hmm. uh, which is sylviakrupinska dot com. S i l v i a k r u p i n s k a dot com, mm -hmm. and then I've got a blog and and Twitter and Facebook. Uh, what I'll we will do on my blog, I'll put today later on today all the information we talked about today and, and links, yeah. and so people can uh, find it. The easiest way to just Google me on. Uh, my name Sylvia Krupinska. Organic mm. contemporary sculpture. Okay, and if you could just spell your name again one more time for us. Okay, S I L V I A, Sylvia Krupinska is K R U P I N S K A. Brilliant. Thank you very much for joining us this Thank morning, you. Sylvia. Thank you. The time now is eleven twenty-six. <laughs>